Excitement is in the air as the Kentucky Derby Festival kicks off with Thunder Over Louisville. And it's also an exciting time for one of our Thunder sponsors, Spalding University. And joining me to share the details is Tori Murden McClure, Dr. Kurt Jefferson, Dr. Tamara Adams, and Dr. John Burden. Now, Tori, I'm going to start with you. Can you tell us a bit about Spalding University's compassion and how that ties into your healthcare offerings? Oh, absolutely. We were declared uh, a compassionate university on November 11th, 2011, the same time the city of Louisville was. And, you know, compassion is related to um, the willingness to help other people in our healthcare offerings with nursing and psychology and social work and our occupational therapy program are all just really grand. And uh, we're looking at more healthcare programs. That is wonderful. And Dr. Jefferson, can you tell us a bit about the history of your healthcare programs and Spalding, Spalding's history of helping those in need? Absolutely. Uh, we just celebrated our 100th anniversary in downtown Louisville. And so um, it's a pretty exciting when we look back at the history. In 1933, we offered the first nursing ed program uh, on our campus. And in 1949, that turned into a bachelor's of science in nursing. Um, so we have uh, a number of programs, including a clinical psychology doctorate that is nearly 40 years old. And, and we've also started to offer some brand new programs in the last couple of years, an occupational therapy doctorate, as well as a doctor of social work. So there's so many interesting things going on historically with regard to the healthcare professions, especially at the graduate level, uh, as well as at the undergraduate level at Spalding University. That is so great. And Dr. Adams, I understand that increasing access to education and providing support is something that Spalding University makes a priority. Is that right? Most definitely. I think that we have created some wonderful partnerships through agencies like Humana, Mary Hurst. Um, our, we even have a new post licensure certificate in critical care in our health sciences, uh, partnerships with Sullivan University to make sure students have access to a pipeline of how it is that they can advance their knowledge in the health disciplines uh, and, can, and give back to the community. And we also have some wonderful supports across our campus for students who may not have uh, all of the preparedness from high school to get that support that they need to enter in the fields that they are underrepresented. So it's a great pathway for students uh, at, at Spalding. Absolutely. And Tori, are there any new programs in the works at Spalding? Um, yeah, we're looking at starting a physical therapy program very soon. And uh, I want to make sure that everybody knows we're not just health sciences at Spalding. We've got a fantastic <laughs> writing program. I'm a grad, not that I'm biased or anything. But um, yeah, there are lots of great things. Spalding has just been growing and changing for the last decade. That is so fantastic. And Dr. Burden, what are the distinguishing characteristics of your PT program? Well, we'll begin accepting students in the fall of 2022, pending approval by the Commission on Accreditation and Physical Therapy Education. Students can be admitted to the program after three years of undergraduate coursework with a bachelor's degree awarded after completion of the first year of the program. So this will allow students to take one year off the time needed to attain their physical therapy degree, saving them a full year's worth of tuition and allowing our graduates to enter the workforce one year earlier. Building on Spalding's mission to offer flexible education that meets the needs of the times, the PT curriculum will be offered through a hybrid format. Lecture courses will be delivered online and hands-on lab courses will be taught via monthly, week-long immersive experiences in our new state-of-the-art campus facility. That is so fantastic. I just want to thank you all so much for talking with me today and wish you a happy thunder. Great. Thank you. And to learn more, just visit spalding.edu.